Hello, in today's episode, I want to explain to us why Jesus fed 5,000 people. Have you ever really wondered what happened? What, what was really the message behind the miracle of 5,000 fed with five loaves of bread and two fishes? Feeding the people with physical bread was an allegory Jesus used to catch the attention, the attention of the people to a more profound need in their lives. And that's the need for the living bread the living bread, which Jesus himself said he is. Take note of two paradoxes. Jesus used physical bread to feed 5,000 men, and Jesus himself is the true living bread, the eternal life that came down from heaven to save humanity from eternal destruction. Think about it again. Unlike the physical bread that only temporarily solves the problem of hunger, anyone who eats the living bread in other words believes and receives jesus will never hunger again they will never have need for salvation i therefore posit that the main reason why jesus performed the miracle of feeding five thousand people with bread was just to use the physical need for bread to demonstrate two things number one how unsatisfying the pursuit of physical bread is. Thanks to the miracle, the people ate and they were filled. But the next day, what happened? They were all still hungry. The second message is that Jesus was trying to get the people's attention to the importance of seeking after the true living bread that leads to eternity. That's why Jesus replied to them. He said, I tell you the truth. Uh, you want to be with me because I feed you not because you understand the miraculous signs, but don't be so concerned about perishable things like food. Spend your energy seeking the eternal life that the Son of Man came to give you. Oh, I'm paraphrasing John chapter 6, verse 26 to 27 there. My challenge to you listening to me today, have you received the living bread? That is salvation that has come down from heaven that Jesus came to give. Have you received it? If not, consider doing that today because tomorrow is not guaranteed for anyone. You all know what is happening on the world and I don't want to scare anybody, but none of us is guaranteed tomorrow. Regardless of whether you've been saved or you have been purposely uh, you know, pursuing the things that, that have uh, eternal values such as holiness, self-desire, uh, denial, love, all that stuff, sort of, you can still pursue God more intimately. Are you consumed by the quest for success for perishable and worldly things? No matter how lucrative your profession may be, or your job, or your career, if you are not using it to advance the kingdom of God, it's all a wasted life. So I want to encourage each one of us to take note of what is eternal from what is perishable, what is temporary. Jesus Christ used five loaves of bread and two fishes to feed 5,000 people, showing you how humankind, all of the whole world, has need for salvation. The whole world needs salvation that only Jesus alone, the living bread, can offer. In a day like this, when there's too much confusion, people are freaking out and, and they're confused, they're asking so many questions, Jesus Christ remains the only answer. And I want to encourage you, if you have not made that decision, consider making it today. It is not a difficult decision, it's a decision with eternal value, and you can be guaranteed that God will answer your prayer if you answer to the call to receive Christ today. I want to pray for you that the grace of God will give you the wisdom you need, that the Lord will impact you with wisdom to be able to know what things have spiritual value, eternal value from the things that are perishable and temporary. I pray for that spirit of wisdom 
that will come upon you and give you the choice to make the right decision.